Good morning, Cougars. This is Mr. Martinez with the morning announcements. Happy New Year, everybody. Good morning, Joya. Happy New Year. Good morning. Happy New Year, Mr. Martinez and everybody. It's great to see you. We've been, it seems like we've been gone for such a long time, uh, but we are back and uh, we've got a brand new flag from Harlow in kindergarten. Let me show you this, Joya. Uh, are you seeing Ooh. it? I, I do see it very pretty. Well, shout out to Harlow. I could see some stars back there. She's got her, her stars and stripes. She's got her red, white, and blue. Uh, thank you so much, Harlow. Uh, Joya, lead us in our flag salute. Place your right hand over your heart and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thank you, Harlow. Thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, January 12th. We, we remember we were supposed to start school yesterday on January 11th on the Monday, uh, but during the vacation, uh, our school district made the decision that uh, yesterday would be used for professional development for the teachers. And so they pushed the calendar back one day. And as a result, we're starting today. The weather has been beautiful, a high of 71. And I just heard the news report that it's gonna be in the 80s in the next few days. So uh, wow. really uh, very warm weather, uh, much warmer than we normally have at this time of the year. Uh, Joy, how was your winter break? Give me three highlights from the winter break. Okay, so over the winter break, what's my birthday? It's actually the 26th, um, first day of Kwanzaa and also Boxing Day now. I just hit myself on my desk, owie. <laughs> and one of my highlights was I got a bike which was fun. The one was I went on a bike ride with my bike. And one more was counting down to New Year's in my house. Nice. It was fun. Yeah. Very good. So it sounds like you had a great uh, vacation. Uh, for me, if somebody ever were to give me a bike, that is probably the greatest present that I would ever consider. Uh, so congratulations and cherish that bike. Take good care of it. Uh, I, some, some highlights for mine. I did biking also. I did a lot of biking almost every day. Uh, I saw the new Wonder Woman movie. Did you see the new Wonder Woman movie? I did not, no. Okay, so but I'd like to. It was awesome. WW84, uh, especially since I grew up in the 80s, it was uh, fun uh, with the theme of that movie. And then uh, one downside was uh, I tried to make homemade spaghetti. Have you ever made homemade spaghetti in your family? No, I don't think so. Okay, so I tried to make it on Christmas Eve for my family for a big Christmas Eve dinner. And unfortunately, it was a disaster. Um, so uh, luckily, I had some already made spaghetti like, uh, that you just put in the pot and boil it. Uh, but uh, my goal of making homemade spaghetti uh, didn't work out as I had planned. So I got to try it again, but uh, probably not on Christmas Eve again. Uh, we, uh, New Year's resolutions, Joy, a lot of people uh, at this time of the year try to come up with a resolution that they hope to accomplish. Do you, have you thought about any resolutions this year? Mine was just to be positive as COVID-19 slows down to a stop. Okay, I, I, that is a great New Year's resolution. I, I, and I've been thinking about myself, I normally don't make resolutions. Uh, however, uh, this year I just want to uh, focus on uh, making sure the people that uh, work with me know that I appreciate them very much. So I'm going to try to show my appreciation more. Uh, that's good. Some, something I'm going to work on. Uh, Joy, the last time we saw you, you were opening a box with a yo-yo. And I, I, think, I think you said you didn't even know how to use a yo-yo. I do now. <laughs> I learned. <laughs> so is, isn't it fun? super fun oh my gosh when i was a kid your age that's all i did was play with a yo-yo so uh uh this is a shout out to all of our student council uh, uh members uh, on that uh board uh, uh luca and uh uh the whole group Bodie, jake uh l one day we're gonna have all of them on here we're gonna have each one of you guys do a trick uh for us so we can see if uh if you've been working on it that's gonna be awesome 
Uh, Joy, over the vacation, there were a lot of news. Let me show you a picture of the US Capitol building. I'm sure uh, everybody saw news about this building. Uh, it was almost a week ago today, actually it'd be a week, a week ago tomorrow. Last Wednesday, there was a, a violent uh, attack on our US Capitol building. We had all of our important lawmakers were all there to count the ballots for our presidential election. This was a very, very important day. Uh, and it was attacked uh, by people that wanted to stop that process. Uh, now, I know that boys and girls, all of you have seen all kinds of terrible images from that day. Uh, Joy and I uh, have four things that we can all learn, right? So in any situation, we can learn from it. There are four things that we can learn. Joy, what's the first thing we can learn about the attack on the Capitol building? Oh, okay. The first thing we can learn is to tell the truth. Absolutely. Telling the truth, boys and girls. Uh, when, you, when you tell lies, when you are not telling the truth, bad things just about every single time happen. I promise you. Uh, I know that whenever, uh, when I was growing up, if I didn't tell the truth, number one, I felt horrible inside. Uh, but then I'm also, uh, you know, uh, people that are around me can't trust me if I'm not telling the truth. Joy, have you ever had a situation where maybe you didn't tell the truth? And how did you feel about that? Yeah, well, one time when I was little, I told my parents, I brushed my teeth, but I did it. And then I got in trouble and then I felt bad. Absolutely. And, then, and you've got that in your head, knowing that you uh, were not uh, being honest with your parents. Now, unfortunately, in our situation, if, if people that are our leaders are not telling the truth, uh, we see the effects of that. And we saw those uh, in Washington last week. Joy, what's the second thing we can learn from the attack on the Capitol building? Words count. Your words count. Boys and girls, the words that come out of your mouth, the words that you say to other people, uh, number one, they represent who you are as a person, and they also affect other people. If you're saying mean, horrible things to people, they're going to feel terrible. And if you're saying aggressive things that get people to do violent acts, now you're contributing to something very, very negative. So all of us can learn from that situation to be mindful of the words that come out of our mouths and the words that we share. What's the third thing that we can learn? Okay, one more thing to learn is to accept defeat. Accept defeat. When I, Joya, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something about when I was in fifth grade, I was a horrible loser. I remember one time I, when I was playing a board game with some friends and I was losing, I remember uh, knocking all the pieces on the ground because I was so angry about it. Do you think they wanted to play with me again? No. No. Uh, Joy, uh, one thing that I've always been impressed with you about is that you were on our student council as a third grader. And then last year when you ran for student council, what was the result of that? I didn't win. <laughs> How did you accept that? Uh, just like, okay, maybe next year. <laughs> exactly. And you came back as a fifth grader and you came back stronger. Boys and girls, you need to handle victory uh, with grace and you handle defeat with even more grace. You shake hands both ways, regardless if you win or lose, and you show people uh, that you are uh, uh, supportive of them and that you are a good person by the way that you treat other people in defeat and in victory. Joy, what's the fourth thing that we can learn from the defeat uh, from the Capitol building attack? Fourth thing is to do the right thing. Do the right thing. Boys and girls, all those lawmakers that were in Washington, D.C. to count those ballots that were intimidated by those the rioters or bullies, whatever you want to call them, uh, after they were able to clear that building out, they all came back and they did their job. They counted the ballots, they announced uh, who won the election, and they did not allow themselves to be intimidated by people that were trying to stop them from their job. You can learn from that. I can learn from that. We can all learn from that. Uh, Joy, thank you for those four uh, really important lessons that we can learn from the Capitol building. Boys and girls, uh, something else that happened recently uh, that was announced to all, all of your families uh, uh, just this weekend, a uh, longtime teacher at our school, Mr. Nicholas Glover, a 17 year teacher at our school. He taught first and fourth grade. Uh, got very sick over the holidays. 
Uh, he got so sick, in fact, that he passed away last Friday, January 8th, uh, 2021. Uh, we are all deeply saddened uh, by the loss of Mr. Glover. He was uh, the heart and soul of our teaching staff in many ways. Uh, I met with uh, all the teachers and the staff yesterday on a Zoom call. We had a three hour meeting um, where we all shared our memories of Mr. Glover. He will be with us in our hearts forever. Uh, this morning, all of our third, fourth, and fifth grade classes uh, will, are going to be having a discussion. Uh, remember, Mr. Glover taught first grade at our school, so he has students in all of those third, fourth, and fifth grade classes right now. Uh, he loves every one of you. He, even if you didn't have Mr. Glover, he loves you too. Uh, but we're going to be having discussions. All of our teachers will have a mental health expert with them this morning. Uh, everybody will be given an opportunity to share their thoughts and express themselves. And if you're not ready today, that's okay, right? Uh, we're gonna be here uh, for the long haul. When you are ready to talk, if you wanna talk, first you wanna go to your parents. Uh, if you uh, wanna talk to a staff member or your teacher, we will all make ourselves available for that discussion. Uh, Joya, who was your uh, fourth grade teacher? And, and uh, do you have any uh, fond memories or experiences that you want to share about your experience in fourth grade? Well, in fourth grade, I would like answer quietly because I thought I might be wrong. But whenever I did that, he would tell me, I can't hear you, be louder. Or in <laughs> one time he gave me a megaphone. He's like, he, a little, he handed me one and he's like, talk into this. Um, and then he taught me to, like give it my best shot, even if the answer isn't right, at least you tried, so. He wanted you to develop your own voice, right? Yes. Every single student in his class has a voice and has thoughts and has contributions. And that's a perfect example, Joya, of how he wanted to make sure that he heard from everybody and that everybody was participating and actively involved. Um, anything else before I tell everybody about our action step? He was great. He was an amazing teacher who can who could teach the class while also making it laugh and connect two completely different things. And I would go home every day learn, having learned something that I did not think I would learn that day. Wow. Wow. And you know what, Joy? He's going to be in your heart forever. He'll be in my heart forever. Uh, anybody that uh, uh, came in contact with Mr. Glover, uh, he will live in all of our hearts. Boys and girls, uh, we want to invite everybody, even if you didn't have Mr. Glover, if you would like to write a letter uh, about uh, your experience with Mr. Glover or a letter to his family, like a letter of condolence, if you want to draw an art picture for his family, uh, who are obviously very saddened right now and could use uh, some love from all of us in our school community, uh, whatever you want to do to give to his family, you can do that for the next three weeks. So for the next three weeks, we're going to be reminding everybody and we want you to mail it to the school. So in my morning email, I'm going to give all the parents the, the address to the school. We will collect those after three weeks and they will all, I will personally deliver all of those letters, cards, all the artwork, whatever you want to contribute. And we will give that to Mr. Glover and his family. And I know that uh, when they are ready, to review those things that they will be deeply touched. All right, so um, I think we're ready for our words of wisdom, right, Joya? We haven't done this in a while. Is that what we do next? I have an example of the letter. Oh, that's right, okay, so perfect. Oh my gosh, Joya. So Joya, boys and girls, has an example of something that, uh, that you could, uh, that she's done that she'll be sending to Mr. Glover's family. Go ahead, Joya. Dear Emma, Andrew, and Mrs. Glover, I was recently informed that one of Carpenter's dearest teachers, Mr. Glover, passed away. I was heartbroken at this news, for Mr. Glover was an incredible teacher who taught the class while also making her laugh. There is now a giant hole in our Zooms, classrooms, and the hearts of all the people who knew him personally. It is terrible that such a tragedy struck on such a wonderful person. He will always live in our hearts and will be forever cheering us on. Sincerely, Joya Hickman. Thank you so much, Joya. Uh, your mom's going to get the address for the school. You can pop that in a, an envelope. 
send that to the school boys and girls you can do a letter just like joy did a letter of condolence you could uh, write a letter of a funny story that you remember about something that happened with mr glover if you loved one of his crazy halloween costumes uh he he always had an amazing outfit uh if he a joke that he told you that you'll never whatever it is pop that in an envelope send it to the school for the next three weeks and then we will get those to the family joy thank you for sharing that with us and now for the words of wisdom. Boys and girls, life is hard sometimes. Bad things happen. Maybe someone we care about gets sick or someone we love goes to live somewhere else or someone close to us passes away like Mr. Glover. If you are struggling with something difficult, listen to these words. Sometimes things may seem really, really bad, but if you just hang in there, you'll get through it. That's great advice, boys and girls. If things get tough, remember to ask if you need it. Ask for help if you need it. You can first go to your parents. You can then go to your teacher. You can go to any staff member at Carpenter. We are all here to help you. With something to think about, this is Mr. Martinez. And Joya. Make it a great day. Or not. The choice is yours. Joya, welcome back. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I think we've got L. It's Wednesday tomorrow. Um, I'll see you first thing in the morning. Thanks so much.